it's Amy from Amy's Resin Corner. Okay, I'm, I have some of this left over from my previous video, and I'm going to pour it into an incense burner. Now, after you do it for just a little bit, you want to make sure, if you have these, that you get all the air bubbles out that you can. That halfway comes out. <laughs> I think I have the air bubbles out. I'm just going to stack them up, one for each video, or hopefully I can let out the same videos at the same time, one behind each other. Just going to pour it, get it down here. Make sure when you mash the little feet, so you hope you don't have a, any bubbles hiding, you can just tap it, tap, 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 squeeze the feet. So I'm hoping that comes out right. These were really tiny. That's pretty. Thank you. These were uh, different colors mixed together in case you didn't watch my last previous video. We had purple, pink, blue, and white with a purple tint. And I put some of my diamond mica powder. Um, it's like glitter almost. Diamond white mica powder. So I will show you that here. I have my white with a purple tint. Hopefully you can see that. Then I have pink light violet and light blue from Nick Pro. And then I have the diamond white glitter mica powder from J-E-L-I-F-E. -E. And that's what we're going with. <laughs> A ladybug got on me. That's not a ladybug, that's an imposter. <laughs> so, um, let this sit for a minute. Let me spray it again. There's one bubble there, and it's driving me nuts, and I see it. I got it. I don't know if it'll take any more. But I'm going to try a little bit here. Now, I used, um, because these ladybugs are everywhere, imposter ladybugs, I used the Nick Pro uh, one ratio to one ratio. And I always put in the um, B before I do A. It will mix a lot better. My daughter is working on a pendant and a bunch of other little things in this mold. <clears throat> I'm sorry I haven't been on lately. It's like I had gotten COVID, got rid of it, and then turned around and um, 
my mother and all them got a cold and it just come straight to our family and then everybody started getting a cold down here. And if it wasn't that, it was raining. So, that's what I had to work with. Okay, now I'm going to see what else I have that I can put in this because I figured that would all go in there. And it did not. Oh, that one's too big. I might just pour it on this and see. I know it might not feel it. So what I'll show you I have. But it will be very pretty. If I just have it sit over to the side and <coughs> I'll cut it over here. Hold on one second. I can always put a white or something on the bottom of this when I make more. I can just have this out to the side. And the next color I make, which is probably going to be a little Easter themed as well, I can pour it across the bottom and have it to finish later. That's why I always like to have molds on hand sitting out or something. So if you need it, you got them. I am going to do uh, another mold that is not um, Easter themed, but that's on another video. All right. Well, there we have it. So there's this video and hopefully I'll be having one out and another one coming out soon. Be strong and courageous. And let's see, that was Joshua 1 and 9 from my last video. Here's one. It's okay not to be okay. Remember this. And always remember that even if you don't like it, that doesn't mean somebody else won't. I don't know what I just got in there. <laughs> Looks like a little stick. I don't know. Okay. Well, you want to show them what you're doing there on this video? Give me just a second. I'm almost done with this little acorn. They're so small, it overflows really easy. That's supposed to be baby bugs, I guess. There's All right. Three mushrooms, two little gnomes, two bugs, two clovers, two acorns, two tiny mushrooms. Two dragonflies and two beetles, I guess. That and, was and a snail. Yeah, you better sit that one down. <laughs> um, so that's what we have on this one, and it'll be at least tomorrow, <coughs> sometime till. It is completely dry, so I'm trying to make sure the bottoms of these are straight, make sure it gives it some the right angle. Okay, well, thank you. We'll be back. Bye. 
Hi, it's Amy from Amy's Resin Corner. I don't remember if I read uh, a saying at the beginning of this. Um, I'm, I'm going to say I'm glad you're here. I'm really glad you're here. And hard times do not last forever. We need to keep that in mind. Okay. Now, these, okay, this and my last video, they were not completely dry. I've done them about the same time. They are bendable. I am going to try and see if I can still pull it out. Now, you're doing one video, might as well finish the other. Okay. This down in here. Now, the incense burner, I always start with the feet. I mean, I'm going to work at it and see if I can pop it out. I don't know if I can. Normally, it's harder and I can get it out quicker. Ah, got him. I'm hoping the head will come out easy. Okay. Now, let's see what we can do about the head. Let me see if I can pop it this way. Oh, yes, it's coming out. Yay! <laughs> <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm about to go to the doctor about my cold. Okay, it's Eastery Colors. I want to show you, you can see the mouth right here where the incense burner would go in. Or the incense would go in. And then you've got all this down to the feet. It's got a cape on. You can see the hood. But it still shows it's laying on bones. It's got some rib cage sticking out. And it's hands and feet. Yes, it's still bendy bendy. But we're going to let it lay and dry. I really like these colors. It's not normally I would do on something skullish, but I really like it. I am really enjoying this. I don't know if I'll go back and maybe paint it. I doubt it. I'll probably just leave it like it is. I fear, feel no air bubbles. None. This really is. A, I think it's a really good mold. I really do. I got it off of Amazon. That's where I get most of my things is on Amazon. Uh, if, I do, if I haven't got it on Amazon, then someone's probably given it to me. Like uh, one of my daughters, she has gave me quite a few things but the re just about everything else is either from my sister or one of my daughters everything else I bought off Amazon I uh, just that's my place to go and buy things from but leave a thumbs up if you like it if you have a channel and I didn't I may not know so if you leave a comment put a red heart behind your comment and I'll know that you have a channel and so I can go check it out. You can leave your channel's name and a heart. I will come check your channel out, I promise. And I love watching uh, videos of people that, like I have 900 and something subscribers. So I'm almost to a thousand. But I like to support um, small channels. And I can leave you a shout out and help each other out. Okay, well, this is it for this one. The next video may not be uh, 
the Easter colors, um, spring colors, because uh, I think I'm going to do something with my skull. And if I do, if, I'm not sure if I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm not sure what color I want to do it in. It's either going to fall on a red or maybe a dark purple. So, purple goes with it, just it's not going to be light. Maybe kind of see-through, but not. Y'all get it. Okay, thank you. Remember, if just because you don't like it, don't mean somebody else won't. That is always my motto. It doesn't matter. I mean, I've sold a couple of these already just by people, um, friends coming in here and like, that's awesome. I want that. And I'm like, well, do you want to look at the rest of them? And they're like, no, that's the one I want. So it may not be what you like, but it's what somebody else likes. So, I will see you later. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless.